Good morning, this is Larry Edelson for my Uncommon Wisdom Market Video Update for Monday, December 26th. First off, I hope you had a very, very Merry Christmas and, of course, a very Happy New Year coming up and I wish you nothing but the best for your health and wealth for yourself, your family and friends for the coming New Year. This is uh, Monday, the day after Christmas, so the market action is very, very light, of course, in uh, additional pre-holiday, pre-New Year's type of trading action. So I'm going to keep this video a little bit uh, brief because most of my in-depth analysis has been in my written comments uh, in my column recently. Having said that, please stay tuned to my columns and as light as the holiday trading may seem, it is important during this period to keep your eyes on the market. Sometimes when uh, it appears as if nothing is happening, the underlying forces are actually gathering strength for the next big moves. Having said that, let's go right to the charts. I want to go to the gold chart first. Let me call that up for you. Here we are. Over the last couple of weeks, of course, we've seen that big sharp decline that I was forecasting in gold. We've since seen a rather modest bounce back up above 1600. We did get the important sell signal by closing below 1610 last week. I now fully expect gold to continue lower. We should have another leg lower very soon, probably even before New Year's or immediately thereafter. Testing support down at the 1500 level and down at the 1480 level. At that point, I do expect gold to break 1480 and move even lower. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself right now or ahead of the market. So let's leave it at that. I want you to look lower in gold and continue to hedge up your positions as I've recommended and suggested in my Real Wealth Report and suggestions I've made in Uncommon Wisdom. Let's now go to silver. Let me call up that chart here for you. Here we go. Silver is looking pathetic. It continues to uh, put in another plunge down to the just below $28. We rallied back up very modestly like uh, I just showed you in gold. But you can see in this silver chart how there's very little in the way of support until we get down to $20. I do have some system support at 27 25 and 23 I expect 27 to give way. At a minimum, I expect 25 to be tested and very likely 23, possibly even a little bit lower. And that should come during the month of January. Um, so please continue to refrain from purchasing any more silver uh, until we get to these lower levels. Now, let's go on to the dollar index. The dollar index has been doing pretty much also largely what I expected. We rallied up to above the 81 level. We pulled back to test support at the 80 level. And now it looks like we should move up to the next resistance level at around 83. This is all the result of the continuing problems in Europe. Europe's done nothing to resolve its sovereign debt crisis, and it continues to deepen. So that is sending money basically into the dollar, which is bolstering the dollar in the short term. Keep in mind, the dollar long term remains very, very bearish. Now, the Dow Industrials, which I find very, very interesting lately, its action has been really fascinating to me. We, we came out of this uh, low last month, and we rallied sharply up to that 12,252, 232 level which I've identified for you in my Real Wealth Report and Uncommon Wisdom is a very important year-end resistance level for the Dow. We've so far been unable to penetrate it. Uh, and I am looking back down in the Dow to 11,000 and then 10,3 and even 9,100 for the first quarter of 2012. However, the attraction of the market to the 12,232 level up in here is telling me something very interesting on a longer term basis. To me, it's confirming the longer term hidden strength in the Dow Industrials that will eventually see it move to new record highs and inflate higher 
with gold and commodities when the sovereign debt crisis really hits the United States. We saw the opening act of it in the summer with the budget crisis and debt ceiling talks. That was just the opening act. We are now seeing the sovereign debt crisis fully infect Europe and soon it will fully infect the United States. And at that point, believe it or not, even if the economy continues to deteriorate, we will see a move higher in the Dow Industrials to new record highs. I repeat, between 1932 and 1937, as the U.S. economy continued to go downhill during the Great Depression, the U.S. stock market rallied almost 400 percent on the back of sovereign debt crisis and defaults in Europe and a sovereign crisis in Washington. So you need to keep that in mind and uh, for the longer term. That's a unique perspective that most analysts don't talk about, but I do want you to keep it in mind and I will be talking a lot about it during 2012. This is Larry Edelson. Again, have a very healthy, happy, and safe New Year.